hey friends and family how are you all doing i hope you're all staying safe and staying blessed today i'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect roast pork in the oven so if you're ready just get your pork get your seasoning get your pot and let's make some super simple roast pork so before we go any further let me just say thank you for clicking on this video you could have clicked on any other video but you chose to click on mine so i really really appreciate every single one of you so right here i have my two pack of pork you don't know how it go already chop it up and rinse it well with some vinegar and lemon and now we're gonna add our seasoning so right here i have my pork seasoning and this is from the easy spice brand sometimes easy spice can be a bit salty so you have to be careful when you're using this brand and i'm also gonna add my black pepper cayenne pepper and some creole seasoning some cajun seasoning and you don't know it's pork so we're gonna pull out our ginger our pimento our onion scallion our scotch bonnet pepper all those good stuff and you know i'm gonna put everything in my description box as usual because what's the purpose of hiding my ingredients and my seasoning makes no sense all right so you can always click on, in, on my description box and you'll find it right there so i'm just gonna let this marinate and then we're gonna head over to the stove So now I am going to add some browning. My, I have my grace browning here. And as usual, you have to be careful when you're adding browning because it can be bitter if you add too much. So normally I just pour it in my hands and then I distribute it on my meat. And because I'm making roast pork, you don't have to add too much browning. All right, because when it's roasting, that's when it's gonna get your desired color. So. We're gonna just set this to marinate and then we're gonna head over to the stove. So while my pot is being heated, I'm just cutting up my ginger, my scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, onion, and thyme. And yeah, we just prep that and then we're just gonna head over to the stove. Just adding my oil in there and then we're gonna add our pork. So we're just going to go in and add everything and the first thing I'm going to do is just use my spoon to stir this for a good 5 minutes in the oil. We're just going to stir it for a good 5 minutes in the oil and then we are going to add our ground seasoning and put it in the oven. So as you guys can see, we're still going through the braising process and I'm doing this for about five minutes, making sure that this is properly braised in the oil and you know, we're just going to throw on our seasonings, our ground seasoning, scallion, and onion, thyme, all of that good stuff and cover it down. Yeah, we're going to cover it. The pot cover that I have for this pot, it's able to go in the oven, but if you're using a pot that can't, that the cover can't go in the oven, because you know, some of the pot comes with rubber stuff on them, so you can't put them in the oven. Um, you can just put a foil on top of the pot and just allow the pork to cook. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just use my pot cover since it's oven safe. So now that I'm adding all my ground seasoning, what I'm going to do is just turn the stove down a little bit and cover this pot. We're going to cover it and allow it to steam up for five minutes. All right. So that's small amount of liquid that is going to form during that five minutes. That's what you're going to put it in the oven with. We're not going to add any water. Remember, we are roasting this, so we're not going to add any water. So we're just going to cover the pot for it to steam up pop it in the oven i know this is gonna take about an hour or one and a half to cook so let's stay tuned for the process it's just quick and simple especially if you if it's a holiday and you have other stuff to do and other stuff to cook it's just the perfect way to roast your pork just start it on top of the stove pop it in the oven and you don't have to worry about it until it's cooked trust me 
so you know some meat are harder or tougher than some so what you can do is just go in and check it after one hour you can check it because like if you're cooking beef or pork and you know it takes a while to cook you can just check it after one hour i can't tell you the exact time because your pig may be softer than mine maybe younger than mine so whichever part of the meat that you get maybe softer than mine so after one hour you can check it and if it's cooked then you're good to go but it may take more than an hour depending on the part of the meat that you get if you understand what i'm trying to say so this is my what it looks like now it's soft it's cooked so what i'm gonna do now is just pop it back in without the cover for about five minutes so that it can catch that nice color give it that jerk pork vibes yeah even though i didn't put any jerk season it's not jerk pork it's roast pork so you want to make it look roasted all right so it's out now and it's ready and this is what it looks like guys you can imagine having some nice fresh cocoa bread yeah nice with this pork all right so if you haven't seen the cocoa bread video it's shot guys it's real let me tell you this is something that i make all the time jamaican cocoa bread it tastes really good you have to check it out i'm gonna leave the link for it right up above or in my description box that you can just click and watch it all right so this is my pork recipe thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet and remember this is roast pork in the oven quick and easy all right bye guys stay safe and i'll see you guys in my next one